Did you ever feel stuck in a conversation with a girl? Like you knew it was boring, but you couldn't move things forward? In this video, I'm gonna give you one simple technique that will instantly improve your conversations. So recently a student asked me if there were any specific techniques that really have had like a dramatic impact on my conversation skills over the years. And the answer is yes. It's called hit the fast forward button. For me, my biggest frustration was always that first few minutes of a conversation. It always felt awkward to me. It always felt kind of forced. And I would constantly find myself like wondering, does she even want to be talking to me? Am I making a fool of myself? And because of this, I tended to stay on really safe and really boring topics. And ultimately, most of my conversations with women would die out really quickly. This even happened with girls that I knew already. For instance, uh, you know, I'd be at a bar, right? And a girl from one of my classes would run into me and she would approach me. And I still couldn't advance the conversation beyond things like, oh, how have you been? What have you been up to, right? And then I would just hit a block, right? Um, I shudder when I think about it right now of how many girls I lost over the years because I let the conversation sputter out way too soon. It finally got to the point where I hated even talking to girls because I knew how boring it would be. I knew that, that, like, that interest would just dwindle and I'd have to like, deal with it. Well, one night I was out at a bar with a friend and the next morning I was booked to go on a skydiving trip. And I'm literally shitting myself with visions of the parachute not opening and me tumbling through the air. And in the middle of talking to my friend, two girls come and they stand next to us and they order drinks from the bar. And my friend, he just you know turns to them, starts talking to one of them. And now my mind is still preoccupied on skydiving and you know I'm in no mood to go through the motions of that get to know you chit chat. So I simply said, you know, as they're talking, like, listen, I don't mean to be rude, but I'm like shitting my pants right now. Tomorrow morning, I'm scheduled to jump out of a plane from a couple thousand feet in the air. And I need one of you to convince me that that parachute is not gonna open. Um, well, I thought that the girls were gonna find it rude, that, you know, that I just, didn't ask them their names or anything like that, right? But they actually seemed relieved. They were completely engaged in talking about skydiving and kind of making this into a fun conversation. We had a very playfulness. Uh, we went on, we talked about a bunch of other different topics. And that's when I had the realization that you can just hit that fast forward button. Um, you don't have to have the boring conversation. I went on to test this technique hundreds of times, really early into a conversation. I would just jump to a topic that's more conducive to building rapport, to building attraction. And what I found is that girls actually seemed relieved. They seemed happy to skip that boring stuff too. Um, this is just one way to do what I call make small talk sexy. Now I have a report called Small Talk Tactics and I want you to download it right now for free. Read through it and grab a couple of the other techniques I provide in there and test them out today. What you're gonna find is that talking to a woman is a lot easier, a lot more fun, and a lot more flirtatious when you use the techniques I teach you in this report. Download the free report, it's only 27 pages. You can literally read through it right now and start testing out the small talk tactics immediately. And one more thing, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I've lined up five new videos you don't wanna miss. After you read the small talk tactics report, leave a comment below with one of your favorite techniques that you learned in the report.